So for beginner, this stage here can be done for a week or two, at least five to 15 opportunity ideas. If you use the tools, uh, like Amesis, Scout or Helium or this, this uh, free extensions on, uh, on, on, on Google Chrome. So you can get these things done for five to 15 opportunities for around one, two weeks. Let's say you spend like one to two hours per day. And, uh, and the, the key here is to have these opportunities on the list because now you can see different, different, different things, okay? And so uh, when these numbers are okay, now what you need to do, you can proceed to low risk budget method. When these numbers are okay, it means that like you see something here, you can make profit with your idea, right? And you can bear that 2,300 if the idea is gonna work out, right? If these are okay for you, these two things, right? Now you're going to proceed to low risk, low budget method. And that's, <laughs> that's basically, you know, when you ask, like, how can I start Amazon with limited budget? How can I be sure my product will succeed? I have not much time and money. Then this is the answer for you guys. This is the answer for you. And because anyone can be successful by following the right framework and the right framework gives you the, the clarity, power and the step by step action plan. So, so low risk, low budget method, how it was born. And I told you that probably the days number two, where like, like three of our people were developing products that cost more than $10,000. And we were really developing these products. Like, like there was like, they were back and forth with suppliers, with getting new samples, improving the things. And, and eventually it took them like nine to 11 months to release these products. And the total amount to spend was over 30,000, 30,000 euros. And, um, Again, one product still died instantly because of the, of the quality. The wood shrinked after shipping it and receiving it down, the wood was smaller, didn't work, boom. Luckily, the second product died because the market price went down. A huge drop in the market price, we couldn't make profits anymore. Basically, we're selling off the inventory, right? So the product, kind of didn't take off because there's some competitors were making already better X factors because it took us like, like 11 months to do it, right? Right? And so, so imagine if you, go, if you do the same mistakes, right? And um, <clears throat> luckily for one product, we released only 100 units first, right? The supplier was, was say, okay, I'm gonna do 100 units first, it's possible, right? But for a lot of the suppliers, they don't, they don't wanna do that. They want things to produce all the, mon all the quantity that you want. And, uh, and boom, it was there. And so that's what, that was, it, that's what it was born. And I remember that this book from Great, to, Great by Choice by Jim Collins, where you need, like the great companies, the most successful companies, they always shoot bullets before cannonballs. And it's about like this minimum viable product and test that out before you actually go into, into the game. And what it means is that, uh, Picture yourself at a sea, at a hostile ship bearing down on you. You have a limited amount of gunpowder. You take all your gunpowder and use it to fire a big cannonball. The cannonball flies out over the ocean and misses the target, off by 40 degrees. Now you turn to the stockpile and discover that you have, not, you have run out of gunpowder. You die. You know? But suppose instead of that, when you see the ship bearing down, you take a little bit of the gunpowder and fire a bullet. It misses by 40 degrees. You make another bullet, you fire it. It misses by 30 degrees. You make a third bullet to fire. It misses only by 10 degrees. Next bullet hits, boom. Then, you know, and then you start, and then you take the rest of the gunpowder and fire a big cannonball along the same line and sight, which shrinks the enemy ship at your line. That's, I don't know, this is, do you understand the point here? But basically it's about testing ideas before starting, before putting a huge amount of investment into something. And guys, that's what you see right now. <laughs> if, if you go through that hustle and hurdle, and you're getting these numbers down on the spreadsheets and you get these little products on, out, on, on the marketplace, do you know what's gonna happen? Uh, you will become Probably your life is going to change, and you you going to have tons of money. You know, because that's a super cool idea. You know, and it worked for us. It works for us, or because 
because we started doing that after we lost so much money with these three products, right? And I was like, I can't do that anymore. Now we are testing products, it, it works. And I see instantly how one thing takes off. But it doesn't take off, okay, let's make a change, right? And so let's see, release the test version. Like, like okay, so we have this original version, we have this test version, and that's what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna add these elements to that particular, like, like yoga device. And my perfect version was this, right? And so that's my test version. My test version is just adding these extra elements, okay? Now, why this is important? You know, releasing test products can be the biggest thing you can ever do because you find, you, you could find out does your idea even work, right? And guys, look, look at this. It is not difficult to do that. <laughs> If you know the market, if you just did your 30 minute research, like, you know, on the, on the blueprint, if you film the blueprint out, it's impossible for not to you know that. You know, you know, 100%, it's like a black and white, it's super cool. And, uh, and I like it because I, I'm, I'm super excited about it because every time we do blueprints, like, like, like the person who has done it, like, they're, they're super energetic, right? You know, holy moly, so, I know so much about this stuff, right? And it's because you gain enthusiasm also, when you launch the test version on the market, you get this enthusiasm by seeing that small win, you know, and that basically makes you to take action even more. And you can recalibrate the test item to version number two, version number three, version number four, you know, because it's, it's a low budget offer that, can, that is meant for you to gather data on the market and also for you to understand and also to like like re like reinforce your belief, enthusiasm, your your willingness to do that, you know. You will learn how to sell on Amazon faster than others because you're getting or like data, you're getting like uh, experiences, right? And it, it, you, you get these experiences fast because you do this to learn, you know, because a lot of people when they start on Amazon, they are so afraid of losing that budget. You know, I spend like two thousand dollars on the, on Amazon. Like, like remember, like was Riku? I don't remember. It was like first time when you when you when you when you pay some something to 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 Chinese suppliers. Like this is a critical moment, right? That's the moment where you feel like holy moly, am I really gonna pay this money to suppliers? And when you do the test version. You don't, you don't have that worry, right? You, there's no ton, thousands of thousands of thousands of dollars involved into, some, into starting up. You are doing the test version, you know you spend maybe 100 bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks on this. And now you are not uh, as much worried as you spend thousands, right? And some products can be tested even with $50, right? So it depends on the product, okay? How, you ask them, right? Does anyone know for, wants to know how? <laughs> How, how to do that? Type something in the chat box. How to test products? Let me explain you. Right, how, if you want to know how to test products. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> I don't need to tell you this if you don't want to. <laughs> it's basically up to you. Yeah. Let me just message our uh, guest. Android is saying how. Len, I think, please explain. Yeah, that's funny. Len was uh, saying that she she's starting to find this uh, spreadsheet sexy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. So basically, let's. Uh, so you can do that. You can buy these test items from the local store, honestly. Because it's not about the quality. Remember, the quality is number one thing on Amazon. If you go and set, start testing the bad quality products, already fail. Okay, you have to test a good quality product. That's the requirement, right? So when you buy from local store, local market, you can see the quality, right? You buy it from the internet, you can still receive it, right? Just check the quality, make sure there's no logos on there, like there's no other other brand logos, right? And or you could also get samples from suppliers. But as okay, can I get ten samples of this product now? Maybe you're lucky enough to get these samples already, what your ideal product is, right? Who knows? Depends on the product. Or you order from Amazon without logos. <laughs> you order your competitive products on Amazon without logos. Make sure there's no logos on it, right? So, so you can send it back with the improved version, right? You know, sometimes also, uh, well, Chinese people are really good in replicating things. Like if you have a really good quality product in your hand, you can actually send it to China 
and they will do it for you, you know. And uh, it's so much easier for them to do that this way than, than you explaining what you want, actually. Uh, but you can also do with AliExpress and other web stores, whatever, right? And what do you do? What do you do with that product now? Okay, you make sure there's no logos, no branding, right? You strip that and you put it in the box, right? Now, what do you do with that box? You register your Amazon account. Hopefully, you've done it already before that. You add a product there and then you print this label. That label is basically FNSQ label you put on the box now, right? Now, this is what you send to Amazon. How? Okay, you register shipping now on Amazon, which is super simple. It takes you maybe a minute or two, which is basically register your shipping on Amazon that I want to ship this one box or like, like and now I, when they ask you the questions, like how much does it weight, how much the size, and basically uh, you will have this, this one, you need to put this, little boxes into one big carton, how many you have, 5, 10, 20, I don't know. And now basically you put this label on the carton and you put, you go to the post office and that's it. This is like, this whole process of uh, registering a product and, and uh, printing and shipping label takes you probably like five to 10 minutes. So guys don't overthink it. So, and you, you know, these boxes, okay. Now you ask, okay, so, but this box is so unsexy, right? Huh? <laughs> It's unsexy, right? It is unsexy, right? How can we get these boxes, right? You know, there's a service is actually on the internet where you can actually create custom packages and boxes, right? You can go there and just create on the spot, like on the spot. Like, let me, let me try to maybe find you uh, this this website. I you know, where was there here, you know. And I'm sure that there's tons of websites in different countries. You can actually, uh, can you see my screen? Uh, let's go. Yes. And you can, <laughs> this one in particular, they can even have an app where you can design your box like this. You know, you choose your box size, you choose your, <laughs> your, you know, whatever materials they have, you put your design there, you change it like la 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 la. And so how easy nowadays, like, I love technology. <laughs> I love technology, it's super cool. You know, and if you don't want to do that this way, you can go to post office, buy the box, and then maybe, maybe you can print a label somewhere. Like maybe you have a printer at home, just buy the buy the the, the the sticker paper and just put it on the box. That's as well pretty doable. But if you want some boxing experience, you want to get some like the, maybe box is your X factor, then then figure out maybe you can find these these places where you can do the package. Okay. Let's go back to the slides. And so that's why I'm telling you this, making the box uh, uh, is, is, is basically not a, not a problem, right? 